country right now to educate students on much more than just the basics, like how to manage money as an adult. Tonight, KCAL9's Wendy Gillette explains. Did you learn? Did you take some tools from it? Quincy Luzanaras is teaching students at New York City's New Visions Charter High School for Humanities about the importance of financial literacy. How many of you want to work for yourself? This is a 12 chapter course that covers everything from budgeting, taxes, crypto, NFT, um, identity theft, uh, student loans. Senior Asia Perez already took the course called Credit Concepts. The class helps students to make better financial decisions in their life. Right now it's estimated that less than a quarter of American high school students have access to education on financial literacy. And these students are graduating without the tools they need to succeed, um, especially in our urban communities. Luzanada says only 15 states mandate financial education before graduation. New York is not one of them, but legislation is pending. You understanding credit? His course in New York City is three years old. It's expanding this year to 100 schools and now includes the complimentary use of the app Busy Kid which allows kids to get paid by their parents to do chores. They learn to manage money and even buy real stocks. When you have that skin in the game, when you have that money in, you pay attention to things much differently. Good spending versus bad spending. Luzanada says parents can help by teaching kids how to access their credit report, knowing the difference between debit and credit cards and understanding student loans. The important thing. Just the start of ensuring a life of financial confidence and knowledge. Wendy Gillette, KCAL 9 News. Well, according to the California Teachers Association, only a quarter of California high school students currently have the choice of taking a personal finance course.